Welcome to Full Circle, your source of health, business, and entertainment. And today we'll be talking, my topic is, I guess I want to say entertainment, a little entertaining, a little health. (laughs) (laughs) However, um, my guest today, well, first of all, my topic today will be on why is it that you're having such a hard time getting along with your baby's mamas? So I want to introduce my guest, and I'm sure if no one else, he will be the one that can explain this issue that I see all the time around the world. I want to introduce my guest, Mr. Perry D. Banks. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Thanks for coming along. <laughs> You're looking mighty sharp there, Mr. You Perry. Too. You too. All right, all well. right. Okay. I, I, I mean, man, I... I think I needed to get a little extra get up or something to catch up with you, you <laughs> no, know? You there. <laughs> you there. So how you been doing? Oh, I'm coming along. Everything's moving right along. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I had you come on the show because I thought if no one else, you can explain <laughs> this this issue I see all the time and hear about all the time about the, uh, the the baby's mamas and the fathers, the daddies, and the back and forth arguing and, and the kids being involved. And, and I kind of just put all of that together uh, because you, then you go back and you look at all the violence mm-hmm. around the world. So sometimes, you know, a little bit of everything plays a part in some of the stuff that's going on today. Cool. So I um, explain, tell me a little bit about your situation. Well, my situation now is at hand now. At first, it was out of control because Mm -hmm. I think it was more on, how can I say, on the opposite side, being in control. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, first, first, how how many children do you have? Okay, now I have um, three. Okay, you have three. Uh So, are these um, different? Different mothers, right. All three? I I have two by um, the one with my my girls and Mm -hmm. and her name. You don't, you don't need to tell us okay. the names and stuff. Okay, I have two by, um, two girls by one and one boy by the other. Okay, okay. So, so tell me a little bit of what was your first experience at hand on hand with um, the kid's mother? What what was the? It was problem? more more of control. You know, it's taking you out of your um, well, a man out of his manhood. You know, you do this, you do that, and really, when you go back to the Bible. Okay, okay. Before you say that, don't mean to cut you <laughs> off. Don't mean to cut you uh-huh. off. Okay, were you dating or married to either one of them? Uh, How about that? Let's I, I, I dated them for um, a long time. You know, each one was um, like the one with my two daughters. I dated her from ninety. My daughter was born ninety five to two, not two thousand to ninety. Ninety-nine. Okay. To okay. 99. So some good, a good uh-huh. little time. Correct. Right. It always was. Okay. So from that, from there, um, you all separated, but the kids are here now. So right. what became an issue after you all separated? Finance. You know, <laughs> money, money became a big issue and um, in control. Mm-hmm. And um, what else? Uh, so, so finance. When you say finance, finance on your part, right? Or my part, you know, because I'm not. I wasn't working at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, at the time, what it was is that you know I had um been on medical leave from the city, and so okay. from the city, I was just getting money from you know mm-hmm. certain ends. You know, like um you know taking a little out of the pension. Then once that stopped in a year, then it was something I had to roll on. You know, okay. doing so, odds so, and ends. So, so were you just like paying paying child support? Yeah, or? I was paying. Yeah, I was paying child support. Yeah. Okay. Know? And child support. What happened is, is that if you owe, you know, they come back and take it out of your um, income tax. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you say finance. So the finances became a problem after you weren't able to pay child support. How did okay. that work? Once I did 
became able to pay for it, it was like I couldn't see him. That's why I was saying it was more control. You know, it's like you know mm -hmm. I do. I'm, I'm I'm running this here, and you, you know, you just the backdrop. Mm -hmm. So once you weren't able to pay the child support, mm -hmm. so was it a lot? Did you have to pay a lot in child support? No, the back the back pay really was only about what from the beginning was two thousand. You know, and they just snatched that. And at that time, I was fighting to stay at um, Prairie Shore. And mm -hmm. Prairie Shaw was about to evict me, and so <laughs> that money came. <laughs> a, okay, so I you said, just yeah. had a hard, a, a downtime. Oh, yeah, it was down. Okay, <laughs> so when you say control now, mm -hmm. control meaning uh, if you don't have the money, then you can't see the kids. That's Is correct. that what you mean? That's, that's it. That's it. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. That's right. So how did you handle that? So I went down and um, protested down at... Um, child support and what they did was they gave me my visitation mm -hmm. so you went to protest mm -hmm. at child support what well, did they say well you you're not paying child support so uh, -uh no because it's, it's it's not based on you know how much you paying at the time it's based on trying to pull both of you together so mm -hmm. you know the child can have an even life mm -hmm. you know okay so well, I guess what I'm trying to find out, because you said the finances was the was a big problem, mm -hmm. and once you was not able to pay child support, mm -hmm. then they said, oh, no, she wouldn't let you see That's correct. the kids. That's correct. Right. So you had to go to child support. That's correct. And say, hey, she won't let me see the kids because I don't have money to pay. Is that what you did? That's correct, because be, um, they'll be violating your rights. Okay, so how long did it take? Or how long did it take for you to get through to child support to, to see her in order to make those uh, arrangements? It, it didn't take long. It didn't take long. All you have to do is go down and fill out certain papers down at the Daily Center. And then from the Daily Center, they'll give you a court date to come. And once the court date come, they'll tell you, they'll send you to, um, I'm trying to think of this place, whereas um, they counsel both, you know, they counsel both of you mm -hmm. on, on the child. And then once the counseling is through, then they give you your, how can I say, your holidays that you want to mm -hmm. spend with them. Um, how can I say? Um, you all make some type of arrangements amongst that's, that's the correct. courts and you too. That's correct. That's how, okay, right. so at that point, uh, I mean, because a lot of people need to know, you know, the, the steps that they can take. So at that point, you saying, well, hey, I'm not working. Mm -hmm. Um, so what did they have to say about that? Okay, when you're not working, they can't force you to work. You know, they're not forcing you to work. What they do is they just wait until you um, have it's a job. Right. And okay. once you have a job, they just go into your funds and, you know, mm -hmm. and you start, you, just, you start supporting the child. So after you did uh, start being able to pay child support again, mm -hmm. did they make you pay more money? No, they didn't. They only gonna go by the income that you getting, and okay. you know they go by whereas what? How can I say um, other things that you have to pay outside child support in order to keep yourself going? Okay. So they always got you know they got a sheet whereas you know you itemize mm -hmm. what you have to do and you turn it back to courts and then they say that they can't go back in mm -hmm. and take any more money because this is what you have to do with your half. Okay. All right. So now, okay, you said you all went to court and you had to make arrangements to be able to see your daughter. That's correct. Okay. So at that point, what was the issue then? The issue then was um, it's more like, how can I say, it's, it's always whereas that they try to keep you down because mm -hmm. they don't want to see you up with nobody else. So they always try to come back and forth in order to cut, you know, the, the mother will try to cut, come in and cut your finance so you won't have nothing to share where you at. Okay, so, so I mean, okay, now you, you, you're saying, okay, well, I was able to start back paying child support, mm -hmm. but then you were able to see your, your kids at the same time. That's correct. So now you're saying that she was still trying to cut you down, so she was asking for more money right. directly from your pocket? That's correct. Cause now what, they, what she wanted them to do when we went to court, she wanted them to sell my car. <laughs> yeah. To sell your to car. To sell my car, yeah, because then that would pay, you know, 
the most, back pay? Yeah, honey, that'd, be, that'd pay the back pay. But see, what happened was is that once they found out the car wasn't a luxury, it was a necessity, they had to leave it alone. It's a necessity by state plates when you're handicapped. Oh, okay. So they had to throw that away. So she got real. Oh, so they can actually take your car. Yeah, it's a, it's a luxury. It's a, if it's a luxury, they can take it. That's only if you owe back pay. That's right. Uh-huh, right. Because what happened was the prosecutor asked me, I mean, asked the judge, since it's a luxury, can we ask him to sell it? And mm -hmm. then I stated to the, um, you know, the judge that it's not a luxury. Mm -hmm. It's a necessity. Mm -hmm. And so when she said, why is it a necessity? I said, because it has handicapped plates. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't mess with it. Oh, so did you know they was going to bring that up when you went in there? Uh-uh. Just, she just hit me <laughs> real quick. <laughs> you know? And so I had to think, you know, because like I said, that's, that luxury is going out the window. So mm -hmm. I'd say, oh, wait, wait, it, it, it's a necessity. So once, you know, the necessity came, it just by you know, just thinking quick. So besides just giving, paying child support every month mm -hmm. or whatever, however it go, did you also uh, just like give them money just to like maybe yeah, oh, that's all, well, yeah, that's, that's always, you know, whatever, you know, I have in my pocket, you know, I go back and give it, you know, and mm -hmm. I even takes them out to dinner and everything, you know, mm -hmm. so that wasn't a problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is when you show up with something new. That's when it becomes another problem. <laughs> what do you mean when you show up with something? Okay, so like for for the instance, I got okay the other Cadillac. I went from one, I went from the black uh -oh. Cadillac to the maroon Cadillac. Uh -oh. Once you seen and that, you drive a Cadillac. Oh, <laughs> right, you messed it up. Right, right. Yeah, so up. once she seen that, I was back down in court. Oh, yeah, oh. that's the way it goes. Oh, so she said, oh, he got yeah, oh, he got to, yeah, he can afford that. He can afford other things. Uh huh. So she sent me right back <laughs> down there, and I was saying, well, this is transportation that I need, <laughs> and I just traded that one off for this one, you know, uh -huh. in order to upgrade well, my car. You have to be reliable. Right, there you go. So they just left that alone again and mm -hmm. moved to the next, you know, situation. Okay, so now. You can't show that you're doing good, in other words, because then it's another fight. <laughs> so, I mean, that means that you all just like, it's, it sounds like to me it's just like a lot of nitpicking. That's so small. Well, that's that's what it becomes because it has showed that I'm in, you know, it has showed her that I'm in control and you just following, you know, that's all it is. You follow, I control. That's, mm -hmm. that's all the fight was about. Okay, so yeah, I couldn't show up with nothing new, but she can show us something new, but mm -hmm. I couldn't show up with nothing new. Oh, okay. So I thought it'd go by the amount of money the person, both parties make. It, it really goes by, it goes by the father, how much he's making and how much he can afford, you know. Now, if he's down, I think I heard that, um, I think they said she can pay child support too. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I've never got into that situation. But that's only if you have custody total. Right, that's it. That's it. Kids. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, how many times did you get your kids? Oh man, I I went back a lot of time and got you know my kids after mm -hmm. she found out she couldn't use them against me. Mm -hmm. And you never married? No, I never married. You know her. because. Those reasons, those reasons, control, you know, it's not more of, um, how can I say, accommodating you, it's more, I control this. So, let me ask you, now, uh, seeing that, okay, this breakup, mm -hmm. it was, uh, do you think because of the way you all broke up, mm -hmm. that this was partially yeah. part of the problem right. of the back and forth right. with the kids? Right, that's right, that's right, it was. Mm -hmm. So did either one of you ever think of, um, well, you know, we don't want to have the kids in the middle of this. We don't want to have the kids oh, I thought, in. I thought about it all the time. But it's it's her showing that, you know, she has control over what she's doing. That's that's what she was you, trying you to show. You keep saying control. When, uh -huh. you, when, you, when you say control. Oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, this, this, okay it's like. Because I hear that a lot. So okay, it's like asking. when you go out and. You can't be with nobody, but mm. she can be with somebody, you see. So it's like, oh, you know, he's climbing up on his feet, you know. So once she see that you, you know, climbing up on your feet, she'll try to interrupt your funds again, you know, because it's jealousy. Jealousy plays a part, too. So so how old were the kids when this started off? Man, they was, um... How old are they now? Oh, okay, my, my oldest daughter is 17, and mm. the other one is 14. Oh, wow, wow. And my son is 13. 
Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we, I want to get on because we're talking about two different. Right. It's, it's pretty much the same once mm-hmm. you, you know, mm-hmm. level so, off. So now, okay, I'm just, I'm going back to what was the, 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 the problem with you all breaking up and you all never came to, well, let's stop this because of the kids. I mean, did you ever see where it was, it was affecting the kids? Okay. This is where, I, this is where I, mild cut this is where i get out okay when you state to a person that i you know your services are no longer you know you know rendered you know you got to go you know so i'm not gonna stay around when you don't want me around you see? oh so you saying she actually just put you right, out That's because not... i'm not doing i'm not up to her speed you know mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not how can i say i'm not progressing fast enough for her. Mm-hmm. so it's time to get out and find somebody who's going you know, progress at her point. Mm. So, so what was the actual cutoff? I mean, what? The, the cutoff was, you know, I, I, I no longer, I'm not producing that. You see what I'm saying? At that time, so it's time for you to find another place. Mm. So, do you think that it was, it was something um, that you were doing mentally? Besides, I mean, besides. It it being you not progressing. It, I, it wasn't that I was playing around. It was just you know I just had a financial problem at that time. Oh, when you were with her as uh-huh. well. Right. It was right. It wasn't playing around. It's just mm-hmm. financially I was you know hustling. Mm-hmm. You know every way to stay in Prairie Shore. After that, to, um, maintain my car. After to maintain the car, you mm-hmm. know, um, you have um, doctor bills that you know. It's a lot of stuff was you know, running through. So, you know, I can only put so much out. So you think that's the reason you all broke up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, fin- it was the finance. Because as long as I was working, everything was happy. <laughs> you know, you know, as long as I was working and money was coming in, everything was happy. Mm-hmm. But, you know, after that... So so, she, so in other words, you're telling me that she never really understood that's it. what was going on. That's it. And then in order to keep me where I was at, see, I can get deep with it, in order to keep me where I was at, she had my other daughter, you see, and that supposed kept me right there in a, you know. Oh, so you feel that she had the second baby. Uh-huh, that's right. To hold you. To down. hold me down. Hold me down. So she had she. Cause so, see, I was going with a young lady. See, I quit. I went with another young oh, lady. Oh, wait a minute. Now. See, see, see that's what I say. It's a lot of twists and turns. So I see why. It's a lot of twists and turns. No, I went when she told me to go. I was going mm-hmm. with another lady. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so then when she came back and told me she was pregnant again, I said, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to go back to where, you know, my kids at. And that's when she knew when I let the other one go, <laughs> she started acting up again. <laughs> right? Okay, okay. See, we, it's we, all, it's you, all control. You know what? We're going we gonna, to we gonna talk about this other relationship and uh-huh. then when this baby came in. Mm-hmm. So so we're going to go to commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to finish speaking with Perry D. Banks about how can we possibly get along. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to commercial break, and we'll be right, right back. Excuse me. What time are you guys leaving? We're going to rob your house tonight. Don't come closer. I have rabies. Don't you wish there were warnings to protect you from life's risks? With diabetes, there is one. It's called A1C, a simple blood test that helps measure your risk of serious complications. Learn more at diabetesa1c.org. Golden's Tropical World. Come to Golden's Tropical World for tropical fish of all sizes, colors, and types, and other small animals like iguanas, and birds from all over the world. There are beautiful tanks, pet supply needs, including dog and cat food, and expert consultation. Check out Golden's Tropical World, 8611 South Ashland Avenue. Chicago, Illinois. Call ahead 773-239-8800. Hi, 
I'm Dorothy Brown, clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County, and you are now watching Full Circle Television Show with your host, Queen. International Detective and Protective Services, 773-483-7788. Over 20 years of armed security experience. The very best in shopping mall security. Inventory watch, find missing loved ones, investigate open legal cases, community policing. Are you taking a vacation this year? For peace of mind, you need our house watch services cheater surveillance, and much more. International Detective and Protective Services, 773-483-7788. That's 773-483-7788. Call now. Nice day. Welcome back to Full Circle. And our topic today is talking about how can we make things possibly um, babies, mamas, dramas, is that how they said that's baby mama said. drama? That's it. That's what you had some years ago, right? That's right. Big time. <laughs> yeah, so now Big before time. before we went to break actually you were talking about how um your your ex had ended up having another baby in order to hold you. That's now right. that's something else that I've heard. Um to me I, I don't think that's a good idea to have a baby to try to hold somebody. You can't hold nobody. That's true. Okay? You can stay keeping confrontation. That's that's all it'll cause. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, and we're going to go back to it, I was listening to the radio uh, going, to, going to work one morning, and it was a woman that was dealing with a married man, mm -hmm. and this man already said, they was just, they was just, you know, sneaking off, doing whatever. Mm -hmm. She ended up getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the man said, look here, don't have no babies because I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Right. So she went on, had the baby. I guess she thought that he was going to leave his wife. That's right. But see, he already had a, a wife and a kid at home. So he was just out doing some stuff he ain't had no business doing, which sound like a little bit of what you getting ready to finish telling me. Mm -hmm. However, um... You know, she ended up having this baby, so now she on the radio trying to get the the people to call and try to make the man be in the child's life. Now, the man been paying child support, mm -hmm. but he don't want to have nothing to do with the kid because that's the promise he made to his wife, that he wouldn't have nothing else to do with this right. woman. So this kid getting ready to graduate out of high school, mm -hmm. and the kid wants to know her father. Mm -hmm. Well... Again, she on Facebook, you know, everybody Facebooking and, mm -hmm. and YouTubing. She done met her brother mm. on Facebook. Yeah, it's deep, <laughs> man. It's deep. So now she's saying, well, ma'am, you know, my brother is with, his, with the daddy. I want, it, I want my daddy to come. I want to meet him, and I want him to come to my graduation. So that, that's really where the story ended up at. But, again, that's a bad situation because this kid didn't ask to be there. Right. They didn't, they didn't ask to be here. That's right. So I, I think I would have, if I was in a position like that, I would have honored what this man said by saying, "Don't have, don't have no babies. I'm not leaving my my home. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever. You know, you knew what you was getting in. Right. What you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I want to get back on you because I mean, it just kind of sound like you know you was just kind of going back and forth. The only difference is that you wasn't married. Right. Okay, so now you say this woman had this baby, and um, then she turned around. You had went on about your business. Right. You were seeing somebody else. That's right. Okay, so you feel that she had another baby. Come on, uh, talk. Let's, so let's, let's, when let's, I went on and done, as you said, what I wanted to do, and she said, well, wait, no, nah, I got to hold him up because now, see, I'm getting set with another woman. You see, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, all your finances, you know, it's going to be great on that end. So what she had to do is come back in and throw another monkey wrench in and say, you know, knowing how my heart is, you know, she only going to do it if she know how your heart is. Mm -hmm. You know, well, he know he's going to come back. He's going to do the right thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, we'll take it from there. And when I did come back, like I said, and she was gone, the other lady, when I said I'm going back to do the right thing, mm -hmm. that's when she started uh, acting this up. This one is pregnant uh -huh. again, so I'm going to go back. So now, um, do your, do your children actually know um, at this point what you actually had to go through in order to stay in, in their lives? 
No, I never really mentioned it to them. You know, I figured, you know, once they get older and they ask me, you know, as they get grown, then mm -hmm. I can tell them the story. But I'm not going to try to, you know, filtrate it as when they're young because I feel that they're too, they too young to understand how I had to make that move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but not so much as that. You you made the move, but you're saying that you still made it happen where you can be a part of their lives. Right. right? That's correct. So um, they still had to know children are very smart. Yeah, that's they true. They can sense from the mother and the father when, when things is going on. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, do you feel like they respect... Or, you know, they, they still love you overall, even though whatever was going on between you and the mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I can understand, you know, how they have to keep a distance from me because the reason why is like you stay here, you know. And what I, you mean it, a distance? It, well, they, she never wanted them, how can I say, if they act out more towards me, my favor, mm -hmm. then it's like, you know, you got this, this is the only place you can stay. Mm -hmm. She used that against them. And see, and I stated to my daughter one time she wanted to come move with me. I said, you can move with me. I said, but all the rules change once you come here. Mm -hmm. You don't have no dating here. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You come in at a responsible hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, um, you know, you just don't do all the things that you've done at your mother's house. All that changes once you come here. Mm -hmm. So she respected that because I stated to her, you don't, you don't have long to get out of high school. Do the right thing. Mm -hmm. you know? So do you feel that um, seeing that you all had been going back and forth with the child support and, 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 and the this and the that and the controlling part, mm -hmm. do you feel overall that she did a good job with yeah, I feel yeah, I feel she did a good job with him, you know, because none of them so far came in the house pregnant. You see, so I feel she did a you know very good job, mm -hmm. and that's why I always. How well, can I you say? said earlier that you did, you told your daughter if she came with you that she had to no dating and stuff like right, that. She, well, I, I, I was going to be more stricter because you know I don't you know you know I've. Uh, a father feel about it. Uh -huh. His daughter, you know, he don't mm -hmm. want no, you know, man easing up in the house or sitting around, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. When her mother might be more lenient, that's why mm -hmm. I never really interfered with her about raising the okay. girls, you know, because the woman, you know, is, mm -hmm. you know, been places so she can control that, you know, that action. You know, me, I've been more, you know, out of order. You see? Oh, okay. So now. Um, again, I want to go back to, so she had the, the second baby. Now, this other young lady that you were with. Uh -huh. Had my son. Okay, so so the son is in between the two girls, so she they were pregnant together. How did that uh -uh, work? No, they, that didn't, my son wasn't born until 2000, to, mm -hmm. to 2000, and the girls was born, um, the oldest, 95, and the other one, 97. Okay. So, you know, it was a break. Mm -hmm. In between, so. Oh, so but this was the same two women you were going back and forth. Oh uh -uh, no, they they it was di now, they now diff we're going different. Now different, right? It's a different one because the one that I was messing with when she had my daughter, mm -hmm. we broke up. You know because mm -hmm. you know she said I can't see you going back to her and you no know, no matter what she having for you because she just trying to set you up. But mm -hmm. I said I just I'm going back to do the right thing and that's to be with her. Mm -hmm. And if things came out. To be whereas we can compromise, we get married. Mm -hmm. But there never was a compromise in between, so I couldn't marry her. Mm -hmm. So did you feel you wanted to marry her because you were in love with her, or you wanted to marry her because uh, of your children? Well, love you plays a big a big part of because mm -hmm. you you have to love her in order to you know to me in order to understand. You know, you just mm -hmm. can't um, just like a person and you know have no understanding. You have to love them. So once you start really seeing for what they're worth. You know, that mm -hmm. they want to pull out of you. you. You no longer, you just have to be the stronger person. You have to move away. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, okay. So now, with the son, your son, um, what, what, what happened with that? Okay, with my son, this is what I felt. I felt that she had too much of her father, you know, her, her daughter's father coming into her life when we sharing a life. You know, we, we sharing a life. What, are you, what is your... Um, like I said, I know that's your daughter's, you know, your daughter's. Oh, so this young lady already had 
That's correct. A child. That's correct. Okay. Now okay. I know that's that I don't I don't mind that, but you pick your daughter up and you go on about your business. You mm -hmm. know, we don't sit around at the table on Thanksgiving when he ain't got no woman there and it's just me, you and him and your daughter and my son. It, it don't mm -hmm. work that way. Because that's disrespectful. Because if I brought the baby mama over with my two daughters like that, it'd have been something at the table. <laughs> You see, so that's why I had to break <laughs> communication with her because she wasn't respecting me as a man. See, I'm respecting her as a woman. I'm not bringing the one with my two daughters over. Mm -hmm. You know, don't bring. But you do know mm -hmm. it's it's several families that get along like that. You do know that, right? I don't know. That I mean, right. you, you hear it on TV I don't know, all the time. I, I, I don't know, but I, I'm just saying in reality. Right, you say in reality. In reality, you know, a man, you know, he loves his place, you know, like a lion. You know, uh -huh. he loves being his domain. Mm -hmm. You know, he don't like nobody to take him out of his domain if mm -hmm. he's a real lion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, wow. He ain't gonna let nobody take no. He ain't gonna let. He ain't gonna let no one take him out of his domain. So so now at this point where where do you go far as a relationship with your kids where do you go from there I I deal with them at hand I don't deal with her too much I deal with them at hand and if she has something to say about like the school or anything like that I take all that in but you know I don't have nothing to do you know mm -hmm. with her personal her personal ways I, we only here to deal with the child you know? mm -hmm. So did you, is, is that how you started kind of dealing with things to try to ease the confrontation of, between the two of you all? Right. I started, I started dealing with, you know, my son. I, if she had anything to say that, um, how can I say? He's because you school. went through a lot with him. Yeah, you know. I, I, I heard right. you saying. Uh, oh, it was, it was a lot of stuff going on with her. But it was just that she started listening to outside people. And that's how we broke apart, mm -hmm. you, know, you know. So, I mean, because you went to court a few times with him as well, right? Yeah, because uh -huh. see, what happened was is that I, I guess what was happening is that it was another guy involved with her. That's what I'm thinking, you know. And so, well, since he's stepping up, as she called him, to be daddy, you know what I'm saying, you know, mm -hmm. it's like putting me out the way. And I'm not going to let you put me out the way, and that's my flesh and blood and name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why does she feel that this man was stepping up to be daddy if you were in your son's life? Well, that's all about, like I said, to keep me out of the picture and to show that she right and I was wrong. Right, right and wrong about what? He, the reason I left him because he wasn't no good. <laughs> that's what, you know, that's, that's the whole, how can I say, thing that they want to show that you are no good. Mm -hmm. That's why he's not around here. He's no good. But that's not true. What it is is that everybody can't put up, you know, what you trying to put out. You know, I can't keep putting up what you putting out. You ain't doing it the right way. You know. So so let me ask you, because, I'm again, I, I see so much of this, and it's just like, who's right, who's wrong? Well, a lot of times, and I know women, mm -hmm. women do not, um, they do not, Except break up so well. Right. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. That's true. So, <laughs> and I mean, I'm just just being honest. So uh -huh. it's like they don't sometimes, you know, and you have to learn to be the bigger person. Right. And say, okay, hey, this is not working out. Okay, I'm hurt. You did whatever, whatever it was you did to me. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But we need to try to get along for these kids. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I see that a lot that is just like we so busy trying to get after one another mm -hmm. instead of just saying okay let's at least get along for the kids and, and I and I know um, sometimes you still have that little jealousy thing where you because you still kind of care so they digging in to what, what you doing where you at right. where you going and That's right. but see it deals with it comes down to your finance if you not you know, paying out what they thought you was going to pay, mm -hmm. then I'm going to yo-yo the kid. You know, in other words, I'm going to yo you know, let them out, let them in. Let them out, So let did them you in. ever feel bad because you couldn't pay out no, what they wanted you to pay? I never felt bad because it's all in God's hand. You know, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can only give what I got, you know. So mm -hmm. I just have to be true to myself and keep moving on. So if, if, you, if you lived and dealt with both of them, um, financially they should have known exactly 
what was coming in and what was going out as far as because you lived in with both. Well, see, this is what they don't see. The, the kids will never see the money. The mothers see the money. Mm-hmm. The kids, ain't you think they're going to sit them at the table and say, this is how much you get? <laughs> they're not going to do that. They, they're going to say, I'm doing it. They're not going to show what you're doing. They're going to show what they're doing. So, okay, so have you had you ever had a chance to actually sit down and say, look, you know, I, do you feel that the mother's dad talked you about yeah, you to uh-huh, the yeah, kids? Yeah, I, I know. I know it for a fact, right. And see, I that's know. why I asked because about your when, relationship Because when them. my birthday come up, why well, don't get a call? But when their birthday come up, I'm calling. Mm-hmm. See, so that means it's control on the other end. I, I wish you would pick up that phone and, you know, you know, and they have to stay in place. Because I heard my daughter say this one time when the one with my daughter, her and her mother was getting into it. Mm-hmm. And her mother wanted to come over and, you know, see the kids. And she said, don't let my mother in. Mm-hmm. And then my daughter said, well, what was I supposed to do? I said, well, you're supposed to not let her in because it's her house, you know, <laughs> you know, because you have to stay in line. Because mm-hmm. if you do something out of line, she's going to want to get you out of there. Mm-hmm. So you did the right thing. Okay. So, so It now, shouldn't happen that mm-hmm, way, but, mm-hmm. you know, you have to go along with where you're at. Mm-hmm. So now at this point, tell me, what, what would be the secret? What is your secret now to get a, be able to get along with mm-hmm. the baby's mama? Oh, to have without, a peace of mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to have the a peace, peace of, of mind, mind is to stay in my zone. You know, don't go nowhere near her zone. Stay in my zone. Mm-hmm. I can do what I only can do. You know, not what you're trying to force me to do. Mm-hmm. And things should work out from there. So when you say stay in your zone, you just... I just don't, you know, whether they need this and they need that, I can only give what I have because that's the way <laughs> I was raised. <laughs> you know, my father mm-hmm. didn't go out and break his neck. You know what I'm saying? He just said, it's not here. Ain't no money. You know, ain't no money. So you have to deal with the situation at hand. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So that's the way I was raised. That's the way I put it out. Mm-hmm. You know. So so now let me ask you. Um, now are, are you dating now? What, no, I'm what? not dating now. I'm trying to get myself together. You know, and, <laughs> and put my. I'm really trying to go back to school because I'm trying mm-hmm. to go back now and be a teacher. Mm-hmm. So you know. Well, what you want to teach? Uh, math. You know, basic stuff. <laughs> English. You know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Oh, okay. So, I mean, so that's that's your main reason for not dating, or is it just that you haven't run? Well, I have to, I have to, well, like I said, I'm more of um, trying to get myself together because you don't want to go around yourself. You don't want to take yourself around nobody and you ain't together. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You got to get your act together. That way it won't, you won't bring a lot of problems in your relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, and if a person see you striving such as they striving, then y'all both start working together. Mm. But you can't come in any relationship empty-handed. You got to be about something. Right. <laughs> so, know? so it, uh, that means that you would try to do things in another way, a totally different I wouldn't way do, when it came to relationship. I wouldn't do what I have done when I first started dating the ones with my my kids, simply because now I know it's more of a but you, it's, it's more of a spiritual a, sense. Mm-hmm. It's more of a spiritual sense when you connect. Yeah. Okay, so you would do things in another totally way. Totally different way, right? Totally It'd be more, way. yeah, be more spiritual <laughs> instead of you know just now I you know I'm I'm here I'm gonna do this you know mm-hmm. all one come you know and I, I'm gonna take more of a spiritual action towards mm-hmm. when I'm gonna have a relationship with. So 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 what would would be your your dream wife or or someone that you would start dating? How what would you look for in them other than spiritual sense? That's what mm-hmm. I would look for, a spiritual sense. Financially, we can pull it together, you know, because mm-hmm. I know she. Inte- I know when she's intelligent, mm-hmm. we both can roll, you mm-hmm. know. But if you have one to just, you know, on, you know, the money kick, which you know you need money, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know, yeah. it's just how you go about getting it. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're both intelligent, you're always gonna roll. Mm-hmm. You know, but if you just got that ignorant side, <laughs> you know, you <laughs> yeah, gonna, I, gonna I, have them bumps yeah, and bruises. Yeah, you know? I, I asked that question because um, first of all, you are a very charming um, young Thanks, man or man, Thanks. and um, you always dress very nice. So I know that you get you probably get a lot of women 
um, that come at you. I, I, it's not the coming. It's it's the more of the intelligent part. Like I said, it's the intelligent part that you want to meet. You don't want to just meet one just coming, you know, after you just because, you know, you just shining at that moment. Mm -hmm. You won't want to see what's in you. Mm -hmm. So so didn't you tell me that you, you, you dated um, maybe a few years ago, you did go back to dating your, your, your high school sweetheart or something? Oh, yeah. I went there. Yeah, but see, that's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you can't... See, that dating, what happened with that was that she wasn't a bad person or anything like that. Mm -hmm. She just carried a lot of luggage. You know, mm -hmm. all men are like it or not. You know, you got to separate from where you've been in order to get to where you're going. But some bring a lot of that extra luggage in and, you know, and it's like, no, nah, wait a minute, you get me, you know, get me all crossed up, you know. And so you had to learn and... Right, and, that's right. And that was another experience when it came to relationships. Right, it's just mm -hmm. that, you know, you, I did full circle because I met her in 78, you know, and I took her out on my prom. Mm -hmm. And later on, I met her at a Mason's party. Mm -hmm. And she's Eastern stop. Mm -hmm. But see, when we hooked up, I started seeing that she had her ways, whereas, you know, I was telling her about her son, right? I said, well, he ain't doing, well, you let me raise him. I said, oh, I done ran into another, you know, relationship, whereas you can't raise. So you, so you were involved with her son. Did she have, did she ever meet your kids? Yeah, um, she met my two daughters. The only mm -hmm. one she didn't meet was my um, son, because we didn't have that much time together mm -hmm. for her to meet him. But okay. she, you know, took my daughters out and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. But see, she violated again when I stated to her. I, I'm only out of respect to me because I do the same for you. Mm -hmm. I said, do not, if the mother call, do not answer. <laughs> you know, the mother call. Do not, because I know her scheme. I know her scheme. That's uh -huh. to get in my business. And that's to get uh -huh. close to her in mm -hmm. order to bring a lot of confusion in the so relationship. So it was a little confusion right. with that. So I, I stated to her, do not do do not get them the phone. Anything mm -hmm. they want to know after we will take them home and mm -hmm. they'll settle it right there. She did it anyway. Mm -hmm. So then when I questioned her, she said, well, you don't think I have better judgment? I said, no, you did what I asked you not to do. Mm -hmm. I know her. You trying to get to know her. So it was confusion with that. Right. And again, <laughs> you know, the kids are just like this back and forth with their head trying to figure out who's sad to take, who wrong, who right, and they really don't understand. So so my next question to you mm -hmm. when it comes to, again, when it comes to relationship with your girls, mm -hmm. um, had you have you been able to actually talk to them on a more serious note? I mean, like about birth control, about about boys? No, I, I never, mean, went, never went into it, never went to any of it. But if they ask me, I tell them. You know, I tell them what's going on, <coughs> you know, straight from the heart, you know. I ain't mm -hmm. going to try to, how can I say, interfere with their relationship because we all I mean, all, so why, why you don't grow. feel that um, coming from their dad mm -hmm. would be something good to, to discuss I would, when it comes to that type of stuff, even though you I would put my your input, mom. I would put my input out if they ask for it. But why do they need to ask for it? Simply because I don't feel I should roam in nobody's business. I, that, that's not, not... Okay, this is how I go. Unless it's domestic. You know, I'm seeing my daughter coming home with a red eye. Now, that's a problem. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm seeing her, whereas she's giving all her money to him. Mm -hmm. You got a problem, you know? Okay. Well, so, as a father, you right, right. should. Now, when I see those problems, then I respond to them. But mm -hmm. if I don't see a problem, how can I go towards it, you know? I have to see the problem. or I, It has to be mentioned to me in order for me to resolve it or try to resolve it. Mm -hmm. So you don't think just... Uh, what, what what our parents used to say, the birds and the beads. Well, uh, I never, you know, okay, I mean, here you go right here. I never went to mine about sex. <laughs> you know, I done it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all out of my instinct. It's out of my instinct. And that's where I hope that they can follow their common sense. Out of my instinct I went. That when I felt one got, she told me she was pregnant when she was not pregnant, then I had to sit down and deal with what I'm going to do, quit high school or move on. Mm -hmm. Then she told me she wasn't pregnant. She did it to see how weak I was. Mm -hmm. I said, what? And that blew me right there. So I said, now nah, I got to be more careful, mm -hmm. you know, because I have to, you have to have something in order to carry, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, I, I also hear a little, um, um, like, you've, you, you've been hurt 
far as relationships. Oh, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I, it's, 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 sometimes it's, it's one thing to get hurt, and it's another thing to be hurt and hold on to that's it. That's what I was getting ready to say. You know, I don't, I don't care it with me because, like I said, you can't be successful in the next relationship carrying a lot of luggage. Mm -hmm. you got to drop it. you got to see that person for who they are, not for what you, you know. So when you say you, you feel like you probably need to try to get yourself together before you can step into another uh, situation. You know, things happen. It's just how you deal with it once they come to you. So I'm not trying to say I'm, you know, like I hear some of them say, well, I'm waiting on God, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. to get me in a, you know, a beautiful relationship. God ain't going to make a step unless you make a step. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you know, you, you got to get out there. And you got to put your best foot forward. You just can't, you know, you're going to pray and it's going to drop in the ground for you, you know, drop down on the ground. You have to actually react on what you've been through. Like, so, so do you think it would be a case where, because uh, I've heard men say, well, you know, it's just I don't want to go out looking for something. Well, I mean, if you don't look for something, how will you get something? Okay, you're not really trying to look for anything. Like I said, stuff is just like me and you, we can sit here, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and we can have, hold that conversation. That's how you have to have a flow. If you meet another person, it's got to be a flow. You just can't. Well, you know, I wonder how I'm going to get to that person. It's, it's got to be a flow. You know, next thing you know, you're talking and mm -hmm. you're going out. And before you know it, you're understanding each other. You understand where each other been. You start connecting. Hmm. Okay. You know? Okay. So, yeah. so right now you don't want to connect. You just want I, I to. I, I can connect. <laughs> but the person, as I stated, it's, it's got to be that spiritual sense. Mm -hmm. You know, that spiritual sense will take you through the whole relationship. You know, if you're just going in there, you know, thinking that it's just about you, mm -hmm. it ain't going to work. Yeah. It's got to have that spiritual contact. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I, I want to get um, just a little bit more focused again on um, your, your kids because, I mean, it's it's a lot of violence right here um today um and man my prayers go out to the uh, family that um just lost a six-month-old baby, baby that was um shot five Multiple times, times yeah. and, and uh, i think in my whole entire life i've never heard of a, a baby that young being shot and that's i mean it's just it's just really mind blowing. Mind blowing, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, I, so my my question is to you is when I asked you earlier about you know talking to your kids about birth control and, and and stuff like that. I was I was just asking because I mean this time in life of what's going on here in the world, especially in Illinois, Chicago. That's true. Don't you think that you should, you know, just kind of comment on it? No, not so much as comment. But just um, with your kids, mm -hmm. stay in tune a little more. Mm -hmm. You know, when you say you, you, you want to mind your business if you don't see nothing well, going on. But it's, it's, it's more of like Just to make thing. them be aware of things. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't ever want them to be where as they can, you know, they can um, come. You know, they can't come to me with a situation. It's just that how are you going to bring it to me and what have you learned from the other side in order to come to me? You see what I'm saying? Because it, it, it has to be, re okay, if, mine, if, if, if my two girls stayed with me a whole lot more as they did with their mother, then they would be, how can I say, whereas they wouldn't be scared to go to her because I break it down in, how can I say, in a good sense that, you know, your mother's all right. I wouldn't bring up the things that me and her had in dealt with. I just deal with her, my daughter on a level where as you know she has a heart mm -hmm. but you know like I said you have to reach it you know I won't cause see when you can tell when your kids don't come to you with their problems is when it's being taught on the other end ain't nothing gonna stand alone like that unless something is detouring you okay so so maybe maybe I'm not asking the question right mm -hmm. because even even with, with my daughters I have mm -hmm. said to her um, on numerous times you know what? You you're not street smart, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been there, done that. Right. And I used to hang out. That that was me. That's what I did growing up. Um so in other words, I know what time it is to mm -hmm. certain things. Right. So when I say be aware, do you 
you know, you don't feel that you should alert them on just certain things, I mean, as far as drugs, or, or are you saying that you're just leaving all that up to the mother? No, I'm not leaving it all up Be, to the I, I mean, I, because I you keep it. saying that you're waiting for them to come to you. It's, it's that, it's just that every, you know, when I'm with them, Mm-hmm. We, I never break any conversation down like this, such as drugs or um, sexual, um, how can I say, acts or um, finance. I don't break anything. I, we just enjoy that time spending together, you know, laughing and joking. I don't mm-hmm. never bring up the bad. I just keep it, you know, where it's Well, at. it wouldn't be. I don't feel that it would be bad. I feel that it would just be... Um, making them aware, you know, you all be careful because this is going on. I mean, I, I can't tell you how to do certain uh-uh, things, no, but, but um, just like I said, just with so much happening, I mean, we just lost the, the 15-year-old Heidi mm-hmm. Pendleton, and um, um, I've heard some people say, oh, she should have went straight home, and she just ran across the street and look what happened, mm-hmm. and I mean, just just far as saying safety. Be careful. Right. Watch your surroundings. Mm-hmm. You know, I, my nephew, 21 years old, and I'm still today saying, and he has his own car and everything, and I'm still today saying, be careful. Look behind you. You know, be quit aware walking. Of exactly. Right. You know, well, so that type of stuff. Well, see, I can I state that to him when we we together, but like I said, I never really got into you know, um, you know, are you having sex or anything because mm-hmm. I feel that's you know, on a mother issue because mm-hmm. I know she done talked around the house. You come in here like that, you know, you're going out the door. So I know because I haven't seen them come in with it. So I know it's been talked about. And mm-hmm. so that's why I never really pressured them about certain things because, like I said, if it was done, like her mother called me one time and said, your daughter is smelling herself. And I said, mm-hmm. well, you know, make her unsmell herself, you know, mm-hmm. because I'm a man. I can't bring it to her like you're going to bring it to her. Mm-hmm. You see, you see right, what I'm saying. You can do it with your son. I've, I've definitely right, heard right. that. Right, right. I can't bring it to you like you know. You can, uh-huh. you, you know, you can handle the situation. You know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. You're a woman, a woman. You can, you right. can break it out. <laughs> so, but me, I have to be more on the gentle spot. You see, because mm-hmm. like I said, all eyes are on you know a man if <laughs> he goes the domestic way. <laughs> you see, <laughs> they'll pull him out. <laughs> you, so, you just too funny. <laughs> so, so what so. advice can you give some of my viewers that's that's watching for? circle tonight to uh to to handle in a situation where they need to really try to get along with the, the baby's mother and someone is actually going back and forth in court fighting over the kids and all that stuff what type of advice can you actually give them tonight i, I think they should always go back and look at watch how slavery would slavery was ran you know you know like you know slavery you know and when once you see how slavery has you know was ran back then Mm -hmm. you can see what's happening now you know because it's all about you know breaking the family up it's not you know the system you know is not wanting you to be so much together it's just a money thing Mm. it's the money it's it's, you know your, your, your kids are now they're becoming a commodity. So they should look back at slavery. Yes, and then, yes, you should. And then you'll see what's happening today. And but how do they stop it even after? How do you stop it now? Yeah. How do you keep from? How would you? What would you tell a man to to keep them from actually going through what you went through? You have to. You have to love one another. You know, regardless mm-hmm. if that person ain't loving you. Know your spirit. That's why I say your spiritual sense will kick in. You love them regardless of what they do. Just love them because the truth will be told once they get grown. You know, mm-hmm. the truth and, will be and told. So you feel like that once your kids get grown mm-hmm. and um, when they go out and experience life, mm-hmm. they'll see why that you know you can intercept it if they come to you. You can't force anything on anybody. Mm-hmm. They have to. It have to be some willing in their heart that they want to talk about. Why you and moms wasn't this? Why y'all wasn't that? Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, why was it so much division, you know, where y'all couldn't get married? So so right now, someone that that's in that situation, you would just say to them to try to keep it keep it cool and, and try to deal with it on more of a, a quiet without causing uh, so much confrontation? Correct. Just, you know, just, just um, let that person have a space and you have your space. You know, I'd rather for minds to see me now 
not being married to her than to see me being married to her and, and divorce her, it would have hurt them a lot. Yeah. Okay. See, that makes can, sense. Yeah, they can handle the situation better once they see that it was never, you know, connected like that. Mm -hmm. But if it was connected, like I seen in, you know, my family, you know, when my nephew and his mother broke apart, it hurt them. You know, because they were so used to seeing them together for so long until, you know, they couldn't see that separation. Mm -hmm. So they have to learn to deal with that all over again. Mm -hmm. So that's why so, I never got married to them, you know, mm -hmm. because, you know, once you there, you know, from where I was raised, you know, try to stay there. Mm -hmm. Try. So, so, so that's that's what I wanted to ask you because um, uh, you are a, a proud um, Banks. Right. Um, Perry, I would say Perry D. Banks, <laughs> and um, um, I, this this name means uh, quite a bit. Uh -huh. And um, I know you are always this this you have always been this person that well my father you was always close to your father, Correct. and um, I think that's why I. I, I right away knew that you would be the perfect person to come on the show to talk about Thanks uh, babies, mamas, and stuff like that because you always were so close with um, your father. Right. So the way you handle your whole situation up until today, mm -hmm. um, do you think your father... Yeah, they had a great influence on me, right, because he was married two times. And he married my mother, and they stayed together for 32 years. Mm -hmm. And so he always stated to me, you know, once you have one by one woman and another one by another one, mm -hmm. always bring your kids together. Mm -hmm. Let them know each other. Exactly. So now let me ask you another question real quick. If you went back, looking back today, mm -hmm. what, what would you have did different dealing with those situations? Um, first of all, like I said, <laughs> I, I took more uh, in-depth view of who they, you know, who they are. You know, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. See, I was thinking shadow, <laughs> and mm -hmm. that, that way shadow things happened to me, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you know, because I was just standing in shallow water instead of getting deep with it and bringing it in, you know. Mm -hmm. So I should have just, like I said, examined the problem, but like I said, when you're young, you just, you snappy, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you go here, you go there, until you, you know, something really slow you down to do the right thing. Okay. So, so what can you, can you just tell my viewers again, something to some of our younger people today to um, prevent them from having to go through a oh. lot of changes? And, I, and I'm saying that again because, um, again, that, that six-month-old baby that uh, we just lost, she mm -hmm. was with her father, mm -hmm. and her father was changing her diaper, mm -hmm. and both of them, you know. So, I mean, what... Could you say to some of the viewers that um, young, some of my uh, young men, mm -hmm. to um, stay out of trouble, you That's know. That's the main thing. That's the main. Stay out of trouble and Don't try. Don't be so quick to have babies. Right, right. I mean, right. It's just crazy. The, I, was, I was getting ready to state that, you know, always try to find, but you got to grow up in it. Like I said, my, like my father used to always say, experience count, mm -hmm. you know. So you have to go out there and you have to get your experience. But just don't keep on making the same mistakes, mm -hmm. you know. No, you know, always sit back and examine where you've been, so you know where you're going, mm -hmm. you know. And that's just like go back to what I'm stating again in your relationship. Always examine where you at and mm -hmm. what you what you really want out of that relationship. Okay, that makes sense. You gotta find what you want out of it. Truly, mm -hmm. be true to yourself. You know, do you want to play with her and then go play with another woman, or do you uh -huh. just want to be with her and raise your family? All right, all right. Mm -hmm. can put it no better. Uh -huh. Well, I want to thank you again for taking our time and coming on Full Circle and, and, and gracing the place um, with, your, with your spirit, your, your wonderful, bright spirit <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, right sir. here. And... Um, I want to thank you to all my viewers. <laughs> same time, same place. Next week, tomorrow, <laughs> the next day, right here on Full Circle. Thank you again, Perry. Thank you. Peace, and we out of here. What's that next? What ain't? What ain't? Show the bite. What ain't? That's a bad chick. What ain't? Show the bite. What ain't? That's a bad chick. What ain't? What ain't? That's a bad chick. What ain't? What ain't? That's a bad chick. What ain't? What ain't? That's a bad ch